without Supra, I couldn't be a master driver. I trained my master driver ability by driving Supra a long time ago. As Akio Toyota, the now former CEO of Toyota, has stepped down from his position as CEO, it left all employees and fans devastated, and many of them fear that Akio's departure might do more harm than good to the company. What's the real reason behind Akio Toyota's step down and how it affects the company? Are we going to have to say goodbye to Toyota cars forever? Join us as we uncover the real reasons why Akio Toyota is no longer the CEO of the company. Toyota's former president and CEO Akio Toyota has been the head of the company for the past 14 years. After he replaced Katsuaki Watanabe in 2009, under his leadership, Toyota has become the leader of the hybrid segment, a title they still hold proudly. In fact, Toyota has offered hybrid versions to the majority of their cars under his leadership, and the company even entered the fully electric segment with the Toyota BZ4X. There's also a myriad of other leaps in technological development that Toyota began under his leadership, the most noticeably of which was FCEVs, fuel cell electric vehicles, with the Toyota Mirai being the first relatively successful hydrogen-powered electric vehicle. Alongside this, Toyota also started exploring hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines, and the recently developed 1.6 turbocharged three-cylinder engine is nothing short of a technological masterpiece. Oh, and not to mention the die-hard petrol heads are satisfied too, as the fan-favorite Toyota Supra has been resurrected under Akio's leadership, and the hot hatch segment has also been refreshed by the appearance of the Yaris GR and Corolla GR. Have you considered one of Toyota's currently available vehicles? And if so, which one would you pick for yourself? If you ask us, we'd like you to try out the second generation Toyota Mirai. Let us know which one you choose in the comment section down below. So it's evident why the majority of Toyota's fan base adores Akio Toyota. The man is the definitive reason behind Toyota's recent success and his leadership has granted Toyota the status of the most popular car manufacturer in the world. Unfortunately, Akio Toyota has recently announced that he will be stepping down from the position of CEO, which surprised everyone. Toyota has announced that he's stepping down because he believes that his time has passed. He has said that he is too old for such a serious position, and he believes that younger people that have different, more modern perspectives of the entire automotive industry should replace him. He believes that his current vision for the company does not align with the path that the industry is expecting from the brand. Akio will leave his position on the 1st of April 2023, ending his legendary 14-year-long tenure as Toyota CEO, thus ending one of the most prosperous errors in the brand's history. Who will replace him as the CEO? Akio Toyota will be replaced by Koji Sato, Toyota's current chief branding officer and president of Gazoo Racing. Sato, who is currently 53, started his career by developing parts and components for Toyota's best-selling vehicle of all time, the Toyota Corolla, alongside the Prius Hybrid. After serving as top engineer for Toyota's luxury brand Lexus, he was promoted to run Lexus in 2020 and later added the title of chief branding officer. His recent achievements include Lexus's first fully electric model, the Lexus RZ, which was announced in April of 2022, around the same time when the Toyota BZ4X hit the market. Not only that, but Koji Sato also worked on Toyota cars powered by hydrogen fuel cells and also hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines. Both of these technologies are Toyota's vision of a zero-emissions future that could be an alternative to battery electric vehicles, and both of them were made real by Akio Toyota himself. Sato is a proven employee, and Toyota has trusted him wholeheartedly in the past, and his trust has not been disappointed. We can thank Koji Sato for the appearance of performance-oriented GR models that are currently found in Toyota's lineup and are adored by the public. So it's definite that Koji Sato isn't a stranger to the company. In fact, far from it, he's a trusted member, and he definitely understands how the company functions and what keeps it running. However, he most certainly has some big shoes to fill. How will this change impact the company in the long run? Well, Koji Sato will have to lead Toyota to a complete shift to clean energy. Toyota has been, under Akio's leadership, quite slow to adapt to the whole EV transition. As Toyota himself stated that he isn't completely sold on the idea of battery-powered fully electric vehicles, Toyota even wanted to keep the company functioning as is, as he believes that the current pallet of vehicles and especially powertrain options that Toyota offers are the way of the future. Akio didn't want to choose one specific path for the company, and he believed that hybrids will remain relevant for quite some time. 
Koji Sato will, however, ultimately have to decide if and how will the company make its lineup completely green, as the total shift of the car industry from fuel-powered cars to non-polluting alternative is getting closer by the day. Sato has already partially addressed his thoughts on the future of Toyota last year. He spoke of the potential of hydrogen last year in Thailand, where Toyota himself drove a hydrogen-powered Toyota race car at an endurance race. He believes that the FCEVs and hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines are not going to threaten regular EVs anytime soon, and they still aren't a viable substitute. However, he believes that the potential is there and is willing to develop them further so that they do become a viable alternative to electric vehicles. Sato also believes that the company should most definitely broaden its EV range, and he approves of the idea that there should be a whole lineup of Toyota's fully electric standalone models, and at least five of them are expected to enter production by 2025. Alongside this, Sato was the president of Gazoo Racing, is, like his predecessor, a major motorhead, and we believe that he'll keep internal combustion engines alive for as long as he can. Oh, and we have to mention the fact that he believes that diesel still has a place in this world, as they are much more economical than their petrol-powered counterparts, while also having considerably more torque available at their disposal. The man knows his business, as his primary field of study were, in fact, diesel-powered cars, so are we to fault him? Sato is aware that the current situation in the whole car industry is a once-in-a-century disruption, and he wants to keep the company as prepared as possible, just like Akio did. He knows that the road that lies ahead of him and Toyota is completely unknown and unexplored, and he is most likely ready to tackle it. So we could say that he is a competent leader, and we wholeheartedly believe that Toyota will be A-OK -okay under his supervision. However, we're still sad to see Akio Toyota step down. After all, he's done even if he's leaving the company in good hands. But even though we are sad that Toyota left his position as CEO of Toyota, we have to point out that all is not lost. First of all, Akio Toyota is not leaving the company, as he will now be the new chairman of the board. This means that he'll still be a major part of Toyota's administration. And well, the guy is the grandson of the founder of Toyota. So he couldn't leave his life behind even if he wanted to. On the other hand, his successor, Koji Sato, is very experienced and he has also been a key part of Toyota for quite some time now. So we believe that he does show a lot of potential and we believe that he will stay true to Toyota's idea of the brand's future. Akio has laid the groundwork for the future of Toyota. He has also opened many gates for the company to continue thriving. Koji Sato will only have to pick the right one. And if you ask me, I believe that the future of Toyota's success lies in FCEVs and especially internal combustion engines that are powered by hydrogen, as fans seem to have gone absolutely crazy for them in our recent videos. And if you'd like to learn more about hydrogen cars, be sure to check out this video.